even with those new additions, many worry that Western New York simply lacks the infrastructure to keep up with demand. Now, the EPA is expected to release some new guidelines this Wednesday that aim for more than half of all new vehicle sales by the year 2030 to be fully electric. Two on your side's Andy Payton joins us. He's in the newsroom tonight with what industry experts are saying about that. Andy? Scott, an open road for many serves as a way to get away from stress, but for some that anxiety only intensifies once they hit the road and realize they might not know when or where their next charge is coming. See, in western New York, there is roughly one charging point for every 10 EV and hybrid drivers, according to National Grid. That may seem like a lot, but experts tell us it doesn't even come close to meeting the demands of these new EPA guidelines. Now, we're also told that in addition to the infrastructure issues, drivers are also struggling to fathom making that switch to electric due to the sheer cost paying on average $16,000 more for an electric vehicle than gas powered vehicle. And while the benefits of these vehicles have drivers saving that pain at the pump, experts also tell us they won't actually see a return on that investment for a decade. Take a listen. Your total cost is more than just the cost of the vehicle and whatever a charging station costs. It's what it's gonna cost you for insurance, depreciation, resale value, and you're most likely gonna to have to lease it in order to get that tax credit. The other side of this are the tax incentives that are luring drivers to make the switch, saving $7,500 from federal credits and 2000 from state. But a recent act put in place by the Biden administration to reduce inflation is also now putting more requirements on electric vehicle manufacturers, limiting tax credits now to just vehicles that are manufactured in the U.S. with batteries and minerals in those batteries that are also produced on U.S. soil. Now, a list of those vehicles that meet the new standards will be released on April 17th, a day ahead of when these new regulations are set to go in place. Reporting in the newsroom tonight, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.